Yeah, but what if you two love living there and then that one semester extends into the summer and then you decide to live there for another year and Spencer can party his way through Europe, leaving his brother totally behind? Spencer is not going to do that. He's way too loyal to him. You're in love with Spencer? Of course you're going to say that. I can't believe I have to defend Spencer to you of all people. But what has he done except help you and Ace? Look, Ace loves his brother. He lights up every single time Spencer walks into the room and Ace is too little to understand the difference between a parent and a brother. How is Ace going to understand that Spencer hasn't just completely abandoned him? But not for one second do we question your abilities as a mom. You see, we were only thinking about Ace. Spencer and I don't think about you at all. I gotta go. Congratulations, Esme. You got what you wanted. And then when he really needed your help, you were there for him and you did the right thing. He's going to understand. I'm so proud of you. Hey, sorry, I don't want to interrupt, oh, but Jocelyn, okay. I thought you'd want to know that Adam is stabilized now. In case you want to see him. Yeah, I do. What did you do? Excuse me. What did you promise, uh, Cyrus? Well, nothing that I couldn't afford to part with. Your freedom is that important to me. What is a possibility is me making a deal with Cyrus. All I'm trying to do is clean up the mess that I made. Next time you get the urge to help me, don't. This is my life. Stay away from my business. No, as a matter of fact, stay away from me. stay with you until you wake up because Adam you are not alone you know that taking Ace away with me is the best option for your brother all of the points that you're making about it if she does get her memories back she has zero incentive to be honest about it so you'll let me take Ace with me it, uh, yeah his bag, you're making the right listen position. to me his bag is in his room thank you I understand and I promise you, one day, we will both be back. Don't make promises that you can't keep. Not to me, not to him. No, I swear, we will. Just make sure that he's looked after. That's what's most important. The Dr. Mildew saw in Beecher's corner, she sent for Charles and she's willing to meet with us. This could be your best chance to beat the malpractice suit. Parents can have all the good intentions in the world, but they can still let their children down. I talked to the station, you have your time slot. As soon as Sunny's case is officially thrown out, then you can start spreading the good word. Oh, yeah. You impressed me today. I, I didn't do it. Wow. Well, the fact that you were going to follow my orders lets me know I can count on. Thank you. What are we going to do about Cyrus? I'm going to make that bastard wish I didn't stop you from putting him out of his misery. Of course, I dropped everything as soon as I got your text. How's Adam? Um, well, the good news is that I found him, so the paramedics got him to the hospital in time. Katrina, I have no idea what I'm going to say to him when he wakes up. God, I don't mess that kid up. It may be the best if you weren't here. I am taking him home. No, Esme, you can't. Can you just stay and hear what we have to say? If you don't believe me, ask Michael. I have never been proud. I want nothing more to do with you. 